Hey boys, it's Harm None. Today we're gonna to be customizing the Dubachi 770 in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is of course on sale this week. So I figured I would give it another customization because the last time I did was I think like three years ago. So it's been a very, very long time since I customized this car and I wanted to update my customization and my review on it. Um, now, this thing doesn't have a lot in the way of customization, unfortunately. I do think that it is such a good looking car though, generally, that it didn't really need a lot of customization, but it is a little bit on the older side, so it's kind of lacking in some areas. But with that being said, let's go ahead and see what we can do. For the armor, we're gonna go all the way up on that, of course. Race brakes, let's also do that. Throw the full engine upgrade on it as well. Let's go ahead and throw on the turbo and the transmission upgrade. And then let's also do the suspension, but I don't really know what I want to do exactly. I think I'm going to go street suspension right now because I feel like competition is like too low. I feel like it looks kind of weird almost. So we're going to go, we're going to go just, uh, just for the street suspension there. Now for the exhaust. We have a few different options. I honestly think stock is the best looking out of all of them. Um, I don't think that the titanium or the oval exhaust actually look better. So I'm gonna leave it stock, um, which is kind of unfortunate. Now for the headlights, I think that I will go for a Xenon. And then for the neon kit, I will go all the way around to lower the center of gravity of the car. I'm gonna leave it white though, so it's largely unnoticeable. For the plate on this thing, we could go for, hmm. I'll probably go yellow and black, um, might as well. And then for the respray, hmm, could go for something like kind of different, like my crew color. It's kind of interesting. Uh, could also go for, you know, I haven't looked in the matte category in a very, very long time. Is there anything remotely interesting in here? I was thinking about like maybe like a desert tan or something like that, like something like way different or like a matte like foliage green or something like that. I feel like something like that could be kind of cool actually. Um, I just don't know if this is necessarily the car for it. I don't think that it is. For the respray, I think I'm gonna go for something in the metallic category. I think that, I think it's kind of ob an obvious choice or maybe actually maybe the metals category. Maybe a brushed aluminum. I feel like that looks kind of kind of sleek. I feel like we could go for brushed aluminum. Let's actually do that on here. And then there's no secondary color, unfortunately, which is super, super unfortunate. There are side skirt options, which is odd because there's no front or rear bumper options, which is kind of annoying. Um, I would say, I mean, there is some carbon on the front. There is some carbon on the rear. I think that the carbon skirts do look better. So I'm going to go for the carbon skirts, I guess. Might as well. For the spoilers, unfortunately, they're not really good looking. However, to get the maximum performance out of the car, it would be good to have a spoiler, obviously. I just wish that they fit a little bit better. Like, why couldn't they have added like a little ducktail spoiler? You know what I mean? Like that would have that would have been perfect. But I guess we'll go for the low level spoiler just because it's like the kind of most fitting, I guess, of them all. So we'll go for that. And then for the wheels. I'm thinking about going for something chrome, seeing as how like the car is so metallic and like shiny. Um, maybe something like the Solars in chrome would be good, or the Cheetahs in chrome potentially. I feel like I feel like that's not actually a bad look, to be honest. I kind of like that. Let's see, is there anything else? Maybe something in the sport category. I just don't know if I want to go for like some high-end wheels. I, I always tend to go for something like that. The Mercies could be cool. The Synthetic Zs could also be cool. I feel like the Mercies almost fit a little bit better. I'm gonna go for the Mercies and they're free. So like, why not really? Anything else in here that's kind of remotely fitting? The S Racers are kind of cool. Cosmos are kind of interesting. Dash VIP, meh. Yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna stick with the Mercies. I think, I think it makes the most sense. Uh, we will go bulletproof on those tires though. And we will also tint out the windows. Let's go for a dark smoke on there. And that's pretty much it for the customization. Let's hop outside here and we will get into the sound test as well as the actual review of the car. I think it's looking pretty good outside here. I feel like this is looking, uh, this is looking not bad. Okay, let's have a quick listen to the sound that this car makes. Good night, book. 
So it doesn't sound too crazy. It doesn't sound bad. It doesn't sound great. It, it's it's just like kind of an average sort of sound. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, it's a very basic sound. It's a very basic sound. I feel like almost every Dubachi car has this sound. It's not to say that it's bad. It's just basic. It's just, it's very run of the mill, very average, very, you know, typical sort of thing. Um, now, as far as the Dubai 770 goes performance wise, this car is actually not bad, um, especially considering its age and everything like that. Um, it actually still kind of holds up pretty well, to be honest. It's, um, it's better performing than the Dubachi Masakro, which I am a huge fan of. Um, but this thing doesn't have the typical Dubachi curse of like having horrible understeer. Um, it's actually a very well balanced car. Like the rear end is like ever so slightly um, like oversteery, you know. But but it's not bad. Like it's it's kind of perfect to be honest because you want a little bit of oversteer more so than you want a little bit of understeer. And this thing I I think has a very good handling balance. I think it's very nice. Um, it kind of escapes that Rapid GT, Masakro, and even like Spectre um, understeer that a lot of the Dubachi cars seem to have in GTA Online. So very, very good job. Um, another thing that's kind of nice about this car is being that it's so wide, um, it's it's a very wide car. Like it's almost like maybe too wide for like looks wise. Like I feel like it looks a little silly as to how wide it is, but I think it's kind of awesome at the same time because it makes the car handle a lot better and you're a lot less likely to roll over in this car just because of how wide it is like the track width is just so it's so much bigger than like a lot of other cars like the rapid gt for example stuff like that like not that that car is notorious for flipping over or anything like that but the 770 is way less likely to flip over than you know that car for example um, now the handling, like I've talked about, it, it's very good. It, it's going through these corners pretty easily. Like it's, you know, not having any real struggles or anything like that. Uh, acceleration wise off the line, it's gonna be a little bit weaker because it is rear wheel drive only. So that is always gonna be something that it is going to struggle with. But for the most part, once you get up to speed, I would say that it's, you know, decent. It's not bad. It's not gonna compete with some of the top sports cars like the Karate Italia GTO or anything like that, or HSW vehicles, but it's fast enough. You know, I, I feel like it's not doing too bad. Top speed wise, I know it's a little bit weaker than, you know, some of the newer sort of sports cars. I would say the top speed of this thing is about 124, 125, 126, somewhere in that sort of neighborhood. It's not super duper fast in a straight line, um, but it is still a pretty good car, I would say. Like, it, generally, it's a fun car to have in free mode, and it goes for about $700,000, I do believe. So it's not really a bad price considering the performance that you're gonna be getting. Like, it's, it's you, you get what you pay for. Like, it's about 695 grand. Um, now, when this video is coming out, this thing will be on sale, so it will be significantly decreased from that. It'll probably be about, you know, maybe 400,000, something like that, uh, which is definitely not a bad price. At that price, you should pick up a Dubachi 770. It's a very good car for 400 grand. Even for 700 grand, I would say that it's, you know, a little bit more performance for what you're actually paying uh, which is good obviously um i think it's generally a very cool car i think it's a good looking car i think the performance is decent it used to be one of the fastest sports cars in the entire game it used to be really good for racing and you can kind of see why um it, it's very cool it's based largely off of the aston martin 177 but the front end is also kind of eerily reminiscent of the Ferrari F12 um, from a few years back. So I think it's a very good looking car. I think it's a pretty good performing car. I think that you guys should pick one up if you don't have one already. And when it's on sale, it's definitely worth picking up. When it's not on sale, it's still, you know, I'd say worth picking up or worth looking into. But of course, it is a removed vehicle. So you're not going to be able to do that at the best of times. So do keep that in mind. It is removed. So if you do want one, you should buy one sooner than later. That's for sure. Especially if you're watching this the week that it comes out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my customization and review on the Dubachi 770. Leave a like if you enjoy it, dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.